As kids are having to learn from home, St. Paul's Episcopal Day School in Waco is doing what they can to make sure parents have the supplies to teach them. That's why the school hosted a pickup day in which they handed out all the materials and activities needed for the extended break. Remember, Governor Greg Abbott extended an executive order stating that all schools, including private schools, must remain closed now until midnight on April 3rd. And if you're feeling overwhelmed with all the news about the coronavirus, a Colleen ISD teacher says she's using her skill of technology and dance to promote happiness and positivity during a time when us Central Texans really need it most. Six News reporter Jasmine Caldwell has more on how she's helping families get into a good groove. If there's one thing the coronavirus can give you, it's the gift of time. Time for parents to spend with their kids and time for kids to teach their parents how to dance. I know the kids miss being in dance and, and that's their second home and I could tell a lot of them were texting me telling me how they were just really sad about everything so I wanted to make it a little more fun. So Tabitha Lee Max is a clean ISD technology teacher and owner of Spotlight Dance Studio. This week she assigned students a challenge. They had to teach one of their 30 second dance routines to one of their parents and perform it. It was just neat to see these families bond together doing something together and and, you know, with everything that's going on outside this crazy world that we're living in right now, just to have some positivity that came out of it. Lee Max says despite not being able to go to work, she feels it's important to use this time to think outside the box to keep her students active and engaged. Just really stay positive um, during this. I know it's a hard thing to even think about, and I know we're getting thrown with all kinds of news about updates about the coronavirus and everything, but just really try and keep a sense of normalcy for the kids. Reporting in Colleen, Jasmine Caldwell, 6 News. Uh, thank you, Jasmine. That was a great story.